today and I have just pulled up at one of my favorite places in the world. You can just about see it, Home Bargains. And it's right next to a Lidl because I need to do the shop like the shop hang on my there we go i need to return a few i need to return these toilet brush holders in um home bargains and then there's just like bits that we need again and little i want to go in and just get the basics because i ain't paying more than i need to for the same thing so i love a bit of little i love a bit of aldi i was going to go to aldi but this worked out better because they were next to each other so i'm going to go ahead and do that so let's go have a look in home bargains first you know it's serious when you get a basket Let's see what's new. Oh, that's good. When is it ham? So I've just got home and there's all the shopping and the damage that was done. Not the stuff in the back, that's other stuff but this stuff here did a big little shop and look what I picked up I picked up a rosemary tree because I would love to grow this rosemary tends to grow pretty quickly um so I can put this outside let it grow and then when we make we use rosemary in loads of stuff pasta stir not stir fries what they call casseroles like um slow cooker stews yeah so all good and while I was out the sofa got delivered. I don't know how this is a two-seater. This is exactly the same size as the box for the three-seater that we've already got. I'm sure it's the right color. Phew, because I had a big issue trying to get this. This is the Ektorp two-seater. So it should go nicely with our three-seater. So that'll be my job after I unpack the shopping. Uh, and yeah, it's another very, very windy day. Look at our grass when when the wind blows. <laughs> We're not allowed to walk on this grass yet. We're not allowed to walk on it for another few weeks yet. Um, I think it was laid two or three weeks before we completed and you need to leave it for about five weeks to settle. So we can't cut it or anything. We have to just let it do its thing for a while. My stomach is rumbling, I'm starving. Oh, and I forgot to show you again, looking a mess, one second. That's better. So this is what I picked up in Home Bargains when you see my cart, my quick little um, clip of the cart. I picked up and I managed to find these because I feel like they've been out of stock for so long. They're called the Soho Mirrors, I think. Yeah, Soho Window Mirror, and this is the arched one. I've already got one of the black ones of these, so this is the matching one which will be perfect so we can have something symmetrical. I then picked up the white one, just in case I want to put that in my beauty room somewhere. And then I picked up two of these new square ones, which I've never seen. These were only $7.99 a piece. And I'm thinking, now I'm here, they'll look so cool. Like, I was going to get really big ones, but I think really big ones will actually close the room quite a lot. I don't know, it's one way or the other. So the telly's going on the wall, and then I was thinking of putting these either side, or we can put two here, maybe. I'm, I'm not too sure. We're going to play with it, but I kept the receipt, and they're exchangeable or returnable, so all's good. What have you been doing while I've been out? Um, doing the wash, I had to put that out here because it didn't dry properly. Spoke my uncle about the heating and that. Is the cabinets okay? No, um, two of the, it's just two of the drawers in the chest of drawers. Everything's fine, but they've got, you know, they've got the washer in. Yeah. So when the screw fully closes, the hole they've drilled for the washer is too big. So send them a picture. At the worst, they can just send us two new drawers. That fix it. Okay. Do you want to take the pictures for me and then just yeah, ping well, them over? Yeah, let's do a video. Okay, so I've just cleared the space for the sofa. But to be honest, to get the box around, we're going to have to move this stuff first, aren't we? Um, yeah, unless office. we go out the back door and then just in that one and clear space there and don't drop it. No, we can get that around the corner. We just need to move the rubbish. <laughs> Why would we go all around the house? Easy. No, because we still have to get through the kitchen all the way through, past the dining table you now. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll bring this box in, you get the other one. <sighs> yeah. Cool, now I've got to lay it flat. Just that. Shimmy him over here. Oh, I've got the knife. Sure. Oh, I'm already on my way, on my way. Why are you blushing? Key a sweet concussion. Oh, you miss my touching.
So that was a complete fail of the time lapse because the camera decided to die. But here is what the sofa looks like. Just wanted to show you guys, considering we got so far and we couldn't actually finish all of it. So it looks great with this one. A bit sunny today, as you can see, but it's literally a perfect fit for this space because you've still got lots of space down the side and some space there. No blocking the entry at all. Nice lot of space. Very good. So it is Thursday and we are having our first meal at the table. And look at the beautiful, beautiful sunshine. First time at the table. Yeah, and we're having, um, I'm having Nan's coleslaw jacket potato and Andy's having beans and cheese. And these are beautiful flowers my Nan bought us as well. But yay. We've both never owned a dining table, so this is exciting. <laughs> Flat troubles. <laughs> so Andy's just gone upstairs to do his some of his work, but it's fine because I take a long time to eat. So I'm sitting here finishing off my gorgeous roast potato and coleslaw. The coleslaw was made by my nan. She makes the most amazing coleslaw. It's worked out quite well as well because I am leisurely browsing. You know where I'm browsing. Oh yeah. So as you can see, we've got a glass table. I'm talking a bit quietly because Andy in, needs needs quiet at the moment just for 10 minutes. But yeah, we have been using, what's this called, tea towels just because obviously it's glass and ceramic, they will get damaged. So I found my favorite, favorite coast coasters and placemats. Let me show you what I've got in my cart so far. The White Company apron. I need that, a little, a little play because it's cute. And then this is what I'm going for. These, I love these. The Wo Seagrass Woven Placemats, you get two. So I need to get, I'm gonna get four, only because this is a six seater, seat, six seater table, but I it'd be very rare that we have more than four people over, usually for dinner. So when we do, I'll get some charger plates anyway. These are gonna be like casual everyday ones. So gonna get four of those. And then they also do the matching coasters here. So, but they come in a set of four, which is weird. So you think the other ones just come in four, but they don't, so cool. Oh, Mr. DPD's here, need to go. Order placed on the White Company. I didn't end up going for their seagrass um, coasters and placemats just because I sort of kept looking at them and I was like I they look like the ones from Ikea so I was just like they're not super unique to the white company so I ended up getting a vase the apron the oven glove and a nice big box um so that's just what I'm getting for now but I get their pro tip I get their um what's it called newsletters and brochures and when you get the brochure it comes with the newsletter and there is a code in there to get free delivery because it's 50 pounds delivery as standard which you usually will always spend over 50 pounds but if you've got like the odd thing you see it's really annoying when you're like oh i've got to pay for delivery so if you get this usually it's either a 10 percent off or a um it's a code of some sort so this was a free delivery code even though i did actually spend over 50 pounds but you know what I mean. So yeah, something really exciting happened um, just now as well. Oh, by the way, I did order coasters and placemats, but I got them off Amazon because we can't get to Ikea. But something really exciting happened while I was doing that. The rug arrived for the front room. I'm so excited to put this down because I know it will make the room. This has come, I bought it on Wayfair and it's come all the way from Germany. So it took a little while to come, but yee, I'm gonna, put this down in here because I think it will just really finish the room off and I'm excited, yay! Oh, it's pretty. The new rug smell will, don't live for it. It's a, yeah, it's a funky one. Wonder how long it takes for this to settle. Oh, that's pretty. And he's gonna hate this. <laughs> he's gonna hate it, but I love it. <laughs> we also won't tell him how much it was. Shh. Okay, I'm so glad I got this size because I was gonna go like double this size, but I'm really glad I didn't. That looks brilliant. Oh, it's feeling like a front room now. That's so exciting. 
plus this TV. I don't know if you can see it in the shop now, you can't, but it's on a black table. That'll be going on the wall soon, so that'll make more room for the carpet. But it needs to settle now because it's been rolled up. So I might put some weighted things down there. Whoop, doorbell. It was just the DPD man that had to come pick up my monitor because I bought a new computer monitor for work because my Apple computer in my office. Unfortunately, I think I might have mentioned in this vlog or in the vlog, it's going to have to go. It doesn't work as a monitor only, even though it should because it is the mid-2011 27-inch iMac. So it, online it says it should work, but it doesn't. So I'm just going to have to get rid of it. I tried. I tried. So I ended up buying a whole new 27-inch monitor which I just had to send back because it was faulty which is really annoying because I start work tomorrow but I'm just going to work off the laptop screen for a little while that's absolutely fine. It was next day delivery with curries so I'm hoping when they receive it back and it was DPD so it's pretty quick they should just quickly send me out another one hopefully. Anyway I want to show you the rug because it just looks so beautiful. This room still feels a bit mishmosh because obviously it's not complete it's nowhere near complete but it's already feeling so much more like a living room because obviously we got the two-seater yesterday which has gone up that instantly made it feel more like a living room and now the rug it just doesn't it's because it's not settled so it's all like wavy and horrible but it will settle and my goodness I'll just show you this is what it looks like I love this rug so as you can see it's the antique sort of style design and it's I can't remember what the dimensions were. It's 200, I think, by 1.8 something. But yeah, as you can see, it's like flipping up a bit. Also, this won't be this close to the sofa. It will be a bit more out. But because at the moment we've got the TV not on the wall, I can't pull it more that way. It will be a nice equal distance between the wall and the sofa because it looks a bit squashed now but that's only because that's there i absolutely love it this is like i said it's from wayfair um i can't remember the company's name i've got it on my phone but because wayfair obviously sells all the different company things but these like i said it come from germany so it's a german rug company and yeah i mean they're not the cheapest but my my excuse is you know this will protect the beige carpet and obviously this is going to be the high traffic area i'm also going to be getting a little rug that's going to go here from when people come in and out but i just haven't found one i liked yet and yeah this needs to settle because as you can see it flips up a bit so i might just put some heavy stuff down on there for now but to be honest it'll, it's only just been unraveled but yeah i'm obsessed with it i will link this down below if you want to shop they also did it in a gray color as well this is the like beige grayish color but they did also do like a proper grey and white colour if grey is more your theme but yeah I think it looks amazing with the sofas and obviously like I said this coffee table is temporary uh we're gonna be getting a nice glass one so it'll show off more of the centre because it's a bit like a mandala centre love it right so I haven't been vlogging this but today was the day since it's my last day of holiday that I tackled all of my clothes sorting and my beauty slash filming room which I have achieved so, ah, I put a picture up on Bella Bambina home um, of what this looks like. And then over there, as you can see, there's nothing. That's just an empty Louis bag. And that's a basket with empty boxes in it. Um, but I'm gonna get a nice big floor length mirror to go there so I can make this like my Instagram corner. I've just always wanted one like with a full length mirror where I've got always got a nice background. So obviously right now the camera is there, but it wouldn't be so. This is going to be a nice blank space with obviously my dressing table that you should just be able to see. And yeah, I've just done my little, I've just propped that up in the corner there for now, my new window mirror. And just put, there's nothing on those glass trays, but there's mirrored trays over there. So yeah, now I am doing the final battle and that is putting the makeup, all of this makeup away. And obviously the Mujis are over here as well. I know I'll feel so much better when this is done, but my goodness, I just don't, like, I just don't want to do it. Oh, wish me luck. Good morning, everybody. So it is Friday the 26th of February. It is officially a week today we have been in this house, which is absolutely unreal. Like, so much has happened, so much has changed, so much has developed. 
and I hope I have filmed quite a lot of it. So I really don't know where I'm at with these vlogs because I haven't put any of this footage on the computer yet. I'm only on moving vlog three at the moment. So there's quite a little, <laughs> quite a little bit to edit for me, but I can slowly do it. So yeah, I'm gonna conclude these vlogs here and thank you so much for watching this episode i i'm gonna continue the moving vlogs like moving vlogs even though we are moved in now uh i just feel like renovation vlogs doesn't sound quite right and it's not renovations we're doing it's sort of like making a house a home i don't know if you can think of any like fun vlog titles then let me know in the comments but i'm probably just going to continue on the moving vlogs because i just feel it's appropriate for all the house updates I'm sure I've mentioned it far too many times, but I do have a home account if you do want to keep up more day to day with the updates. So I know I've posted on there already quite a few things that won't be, you won't, wouldn't have seen until this vlog now, which you would have seen much more in the future. So if you want to be more on date, you do have my home account as well as my normal Instagram account, which I'm constantly posting on. But thank you so much guys for joining me on this journey. It has been unreal. It still is unreal and I can't wait to share more. We've got plenty more plans to put in action. So remember to stay safe and stay beautiful and I will see you in my next video. Ciao. Look into your eyes. You know you make me feel like I'm alive.